This is a model I made of the Wave Rider spaceship from the Legends of Tomorrow series. And I want to talk about it not because I think it's a good spaceship, but because I think it's an interesting case of spaceship design based on concept art that wasn't complete or or that wasn't specified enough or something. It's something's I, I don't know exactly what's wrong with this, and I, part of me making this video is to try to figure out what's wrong. So first off, looking down at this thing, uh, it's it's a pretty good design. Like if you look at this, it's like okay, it looks like a spaceship. Um, one of the things that bothers me is the taper. There's a slight taper to this whole thing, and that's not something that you see in a normal design. Normally, when you're designing something, you want everything to be square, and and this is tapered. It's also not tapered at the same rate. Like these angles here are not the same as these angles here, and then these these are at an angle, but they're a uniform width. And then these are also at an angle, but they're also tapered, like it's wider back here than it is up here. So there's this, it's not square, and it's also not square with itself. And then these intakes are angled out instead of in. Um, and then this is really square. So it's just like, it's a very odd, uh, odd design. Like it's, it's okay, but it's not, it's not good. It doesn't feel like it was designed. It feels like it was drawn. And I think that's probably what it comes down to for, for all my critiques is going to be like, okay, well, like you look at the back of this thing and like it's this dumb big square thing on the ends and then everything else is tapered. So why why is this all dumb and square? Well, it's because this whole thing was like a cube and they just like cut the end off with and then beveled it. And you can see the bevels. I'm going to gonna go over some of the, the reference art uh, shortly, but it's... This doesn't look like a very good model, and it's like, well, it's actually a very good model of a not very good spaceship. So one of the cool things that they did, I'm not going to complain the whole time, but I'm going to complain. There we go. All right, yeah. So uh, one thing they did is they made these parts like fold out. I I didn't actually I've never watched the show, so I don't know if this is how it's supposed to work. But in some reference, it's like this. In some reference, it's like this. So it like kind of like folds out, and that's that's neat. Um, they also have these weird well, I'll, I'll go into it a little later, but they have these these like propulsion repulsor module things, and I've modeled them roughly. So this is a really low poly model, not because I couldn't do a higher poly, but because the, my client who wanted this model asked for it to be low poly so they could make it in papercraft. Uh, if it's high poly, it just takes forever to make out of paper, and so this is a, a low poly model so that it would be doable. Um, but you get the idea of where these things are. So these these little features here are um, exposed, I guess. And it's this weird, and this thing too, there's like some sort of temporal vortex generator thing gummy. Um, and it's not, it doesn't look like something that was, again, it doesn't look like something that was designed. It looks like something that was like, oh, it's a dodecahedron. Cool. I'll do some inset modeling on it and I'm done. Um, so, so yeah, so let's get into that. Let's see, let's take a look at the concept art. You see, you get the idea. Oh, so one, before we go to the concept art, like top view, yeah, kind of cool. Bottom view, no, 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 no. They, they didn't have any, it's pretty clear that they did not have reference art, concept art for this angle. Like, what is this? This is so bad. And you can see in the, later you'll see that the, the modeling is just like, oh, well, this is, I'm just going to make what's easy to model. I'm not going to make what looks good. Um, because it's hard to make what's looking good when you don't have reference to work from because then it's just up to you and then, well, if it's up to you, then you're going to make what's easy to model because what else are you going to do? Uh, so this is just like one big extrusion down from the top and then uh, there's no features here and this is just a big flat nothing. Like there's no, there's no interesting features here at all. And on the on the actual model, there are some interesting, well, marginally interesting features, but there's no gross geometry. Like this has some interesting gross geometry on the top. You've got these curves and you've got this shape. It's not, as I said before, it's not great, but it's something. Uh, there's no interesting gross geometry here. It's just like they went straight from boring blocking to a bunch of little details that fill space. And, uh, and so let's get into that. So I've got, uh, so this, this is reference art that my client gave to me. And uh, you can see it looks better from, 
from the reference art because it's got all this surface detail. But again, this is all just surface detail. This is, there isn't really any geometry to any of these features. They're all very flat uh, decal style features on here. And so it, it looks like they, they had some, uh, some decals that they were using or some reference uh, textures and stuff. And I'm not one for textures. I don't like dealing with them. I don't like making stuff with textures. I like making stuff with geometry. Um, so anyway, you can see from here that these there's these two pylons that stick out over this temporal vortex thingy. And those don't look very good. Like they're, again, they're at a different angle from the rest of the ship. And they're just kind of like boring straight pieces of geometry. Um, and we're going to look at these a little later because there's another shot. Uh, let's see here. You can see these are kind of curved instead of being uh, being straight. Let's see if we can find. Here it is. All right. So, uh, so this is this is the shot that really really annoyed me. You can see there's there, there's these these two pylons that are sticking out, and you can see that they're kind of twisted and and blocky. And you can see right here there's a, a bit of geometry that's a little weird where the normals got messed up, and uh, it looks like what happened was the guy who's modeling this was like, well, I just need some things sticking out. So I'm going to inset the surface and then extrude it and rotate it and extrude it and rotate it. And he just extruded these faces out without thinking about a design. It's just, it's just extruding it. These are, these are designed by 3D modeling. It's not designed by any kind of, any kind of idea of what this thing is for or why it's there or who made it or how they made it. It's just like, oh, well, I'm just going to 3D model it and it'll, it'll be there. It just, it offends my sense of design because I, I've worked in aerospace and I know how vessels are designed and I've worked with, uh, with welders and, and I've done welding and I do machining. And so like this kind of a shape is not the kind of shape that you get anywhere. It's like a, it's like a modern art sculpture. It's like a bad modern art sculpture. Um, and that's not the kind of thing you get in, in real design. So anyway, so that offends me. And then there's all this complexity around these, these tire things, these, whatever these are. And like, it's kind of cool. Like, okay, they've got all these hexagons and it's like a, some sort of giant uh, mirror array for a telescope or something. It looks all high tech and space. -y. Um, but if you look at an actual telescope, there's a huge amount of structure that goes behind these things. They're not just like flimsy, plates like they're showing here and these things whenever you have something that has a complicated geometry it implies delicacy and so it's got these delicate bits just kind of like sticking out from the hole the hole is all streamlined well it's not very streamlined but it's kind of streamlined and everything's all flush and then it's just got these things sticking out like they're tires or like it's some sort of i don't know it's like it's like they're trying to be tires but tires are very robust and and sturdy and these do not look sturdy at all so that offends my sense of design too it's like these things should be inside cowlings there should be uh, some sort of structure holding them up they, they should be protected somehow or they should look like they could take a beating instead of looking like something out of a telescope mixed with a large hadron collider um the other thing that's offensive is just like the whole design on the bottom as I touched on before, like, okay, yeah, sure. There's a bit of detail here, but this actually looks like it's, it's not very modeled. It's just a texture that's, that's tossed on there. Or maybe there's like a little bit of inset in the back, but then this whole thing is flat. And then there's these, this part, oh, where's, I've got to find that. Uh, yeah, you can see in here, it's just, it's just, geometry added on and there's some there's some little wibbly bits that are kind of like the ones sticking out on top where they're just cubes that were put in there at some odd angle and then inset and extruded so that they've got some sort of arm that's attaching it to the vessel and like that's not how you make that's not how you make a bracket that's not how you make a piece of of metal to support something uh it doesn't seem to imply any kind of technology there's no there's no like structure for if it's round then it could be like some sort of accelerator or a, or a magnet or something but it's square and so it's just like just a dumb cube that you extruded that thing on it's designed as if you were only 3d modeling and didn't have to consider anything else um 
the front bits are kind of nice. It's got some some neat little greebles there, and that's fine. It's kind of it, it evokes the Millennium Falcon, I guess, a bit there, uh, with the the two plates, top and bottom, being kind of smooth, and then the greebly bits in between. And uh, they've got some nice cables and stuff on the underside of these little wing bits. Uh, so it's not all bad, but uh, on the whole, it's bad. This is not good. Ugh. Um, yeah, there you see the bottom again. It's just not not impressive. And then there are some parts with detail in them, but again, you want to you want to space the detail out in a way that that feels right. And so you've got all this detail on the wings, kind of all hidden up inside these cowlings. But then the front, so the, so the back wings have this this surface, uh, some sort of lifting surface, or I don't know. They've got a uh, a fairing on it, and then the front wings don't have any fairing on them at all. So, like, make up your mind: are you going to put fairing on the underside of the wings, or are you not? Uh, you've got two different options on the same vessel. And then there's this bright orangey glow thing, and I don't know what the deal is with that underneath on these the back of these nacelles. That feels like they're trying to do some sort of Enterprise thing, but like this vessel, you can't do the Enterprise glowy bits and the Millennium Falcon greebly bits and the whatever you know Large Hadron Collider deep space telescope bits all in the same vessel. Like those, those are three different styles. And then there's these these ugh, stupid. They, they're just they're like the front of the nacelles are just you can see how they modeled it and it's it just offends me. It offends me that I can tell that they designed this by how easy it was to model. So they just put a, made some sort of dumb shape, extruded it out, beveled it, and called it a day. And slapped some textures on it. And it's just not, this is not how you build something. If you want to have sleek lines like the Enterprise, fine, you know, put those lines in nice. But like, if you look at this, okay, so, so here you've got this, um, this line here on the right hand side and on the left too is mirrored of course the same on both sides but it's easier to see on the right so you've got this line where it's it's an angle between the top surface and the inside surface the top and the inside kind of look like they're both made of the same panel material and then this in between part is different for whatever reason and it's angled but it's not a consistent angle and it kind of twists as it goes up so it, it ends up being flat on the top and then more toward the front, it's angled inward. If you're going to make it out of big flat plates, then you have to make this transition a flat transition, and it's a twisted transition. And if you're going to make it all twisted shapes and like complicated, fine. But like the rest of your vessel is all flat surfaces and angles and stuff. So it's like they confuse the the stealth bomber style that's in the center here with uh, I don't know what they're going for on on this little piece. It, again. I think I do know what they're going for. They're going for, this was easy to model, and so I just did it. And it's like, ah, uh, it offends me.